Oh my god. Whoever came up with this idea. This is ridiculous. Yeah. Me burn. Yeah. Good boy. My and Jimmy. My bow is so happy. Cuteness is just as fast while he's loved by Jimmy. My bow and Jimmy. Jimmy's so silly. Cuteness is just as that's why my bow loves Jimmy. Hello, hello, this is Mabo and Jimmy. Welcome back to our channel. We are about to watch RuPaul's Secret Celebrity Drag Race Season 2, Episode Number 4. Alright. The season's getting Let's good, I can't wait. Watch. Let's go. Congratulations, you are the winner of this week's show. Dr. Seven, congratulations, you are also the winner of this week's show. I'm glad they did that. That both of them won last week. Did I win? Yeah, Donna just was in control. Donna Belisama, Shantae Yusuf. Of course she did. Tom Felicia. I know this Tom Felicia. You're coming. Queer Eye for the Straight Guy, Season 1. Worked with Carson Preston. Drag duet. Legendary drag race queens are here to perform with our celebrity contestants. Together? Eureka. Yeah. Eureka. Got me. <laughs> Got me. <laughs> Got me. Got me. Morgan Morgan McMichael. Oh, Morgan. Oh, challenging her. Oh, Mistress Violet. Oh, Violet. Wow. Silky McMichael. Yeah. Silky McMichael. Oh, the show. That's what I oh, this is cool. <laughs> wow. Look that. It almost looked as if the dress was walking by Hawaii. itself because she blended in with all the gold and like her hair is gold, her skin was gold. Really? That's funny. Oh. When it first came on, there's a spotlight and it made the dress glow and she faded into the background. Hey, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, Michelle, Ross, do you smell something? What? Sorry. Mm. Sorry. No, that's Roma. Charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. <laughs> six, six legendary drag race queens so are here now. to perform with our celebrity contestants. Tonight's category is drag duet. Celebrities start to rent it and may the best drag queen win. Win. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my god. I love all three looks. Three in the pink. Two in the pink. Well, Rue, we are very excited to report that we've only had to break up three cat fights this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, my question is who wants to fight a six and four man in a wig? <laughs> Jackie Wood. <laughs> Jackie Wood. This week, each of our celebrity queens is performing duets with a drag race legend. Take a look. Oh, setting slow, Donna. Growing up, I had a lot of inner turmoil. I was ashamed of my body, and I really feel like I'm taking a lot of my old shit with me to this. Like, living a life, especially as a young person, as less than. I was afraid to take my shirt off growing mm. up. There's this constant feeling of like, you're not enough. It took me so long to become who I am. That I don't know how to do it so quickly with like a new persona. We already see it because the energy, the joy, it was so infectious. You know, I, I want to do good. I want to do a good show. Maybe this experience gives me an opportunity to deal with all of that stuff. Fine. For your duet partner, <laughs> we have... Who could be? The lip stick attack with something still gets up and <laughs> Yes! This is a nice combination. <laughs> there is only one word to describe you. Legendary! The drag race lips on You never know what soaking is next. Aren't you afraid of losing? No. We definitely need to turn it up a notch. And I needed you here to show me how to do that, so thank you. So every time you hit this stage, you have to have fun to sell what you got. But I'm not letting my foot up off the gas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so cool. oh yeah, this is 
<laughs> and she's exposing the skin, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. yeah. This may be the one where they, she's yeah. not sure of the storyline, but she liked watching I it. I noticed two things. So, if the partner is really good lip thinker, like you have to kind of match up with that energy or more. That is the difficult part. Doppelganger. I mean, I was in New Jersey, went down the shore. This is what I did. Now I can tell you love the way you look tonight. <laughs> yeah. What I loved about your performance was you knew every single word that you were lip syncing. Mm -hmm. You could have disappeared in the midst of all those dancers with an, a legend like Silky by your side, but wow, did you pop. Rap is the toughest genre to lip sync to because there's so many words. You're not holding a note where you can think of what's coming next. It's just boom, boom, boom. You had that precision down. <laughs> that is tough. Her tits are so high. What did you find out about Donna Bellissima this week that you didn't know last week? Silky so was uh, reminding me that it's a blessing and a humble honor to be on stage in this day and age with everything that's going on in the world. She was so nervous at the beginning. I said, bitch, you know every word. You're having fun. But I want to say, like, it's truly an honor and blessing. And thank you for inviting me back because it's an honor to be next to my friend. <laughs> so thank you. Yay. Yeah, it's and it's duo for dancing, so if you miss steps, like it's gonna be seen. So it's that's a difficult part too. So the energy has to match up or more, and dancing uh, collaboration part. That's a difficult part for this week, I guess. Let's go. My winner, winner, chicken dinner. You were just <laughs> on another stratosphere. Last yeah, week. that was great. Each week. That message of that performance was so deeply personal to you. You reached a new level, and I want to keep you there. So this week is she did so week, good. I'm so glad they had a double win. She deserved it absolutely. Life. In fact, that's gonna be mad if they didn't keep it. Oh yay, Eureka! 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 You found it. With an exclamation point. <laughs> small towns to the Las Vegas Strip. Eureka is a powerhouse performer. She's a queen who wears her heart on her sleeve and isn't afraid to let you come. Um, <laughs> when she did little Honey Boo Boo on Snatch Game, it was One big brilliant. <laughs> Eureka loves to tell stories of her performances. I think this is a perfect way to bring shock out even more. I have to really dig down deep because the content of this story is the emotional art. And Eureka knows how to do that. How we can like help each other break free. Yeah. yeah. Take the middle finger again just slightly and lead with the middle finger. So if you lead with yes. your middle finger, it softens your hand. Yeah. I think Eureka and I are an amazing pair because we think about performance in the same way. Mm -hmm. We like arcs in the story. I am nervous about all of it. And I'm here with you, not about it. Wow, Tonight, Eureka's makeup is amazing. And Eureka, I'm going to take Light. Woohoo! Okay. Page bird sing. <laughs> this is latex. Wow. It's a lot of it. She came six inches off the ground. That's funny. <laughs> wow. Her makeup. He's on makeup fleek. Makeup is amazing too. Whatever that means. Wow. Chakra 7 and Eureka. Mm -hmm. Chakra 7, I had no Audience idea going nuts. you were such a mother <laughs> Visually, you two are so opposite, but you came together so seamlessly on that performance. And Chakra, it goes against everything you're probably taught as a performer, and you feel ridiculous doing it. But tonight, it actually works. Your lip sync was spot on. Eureka, your lip sync was spot on. That is beautiful. Yeah. 
I love the kind of ridiculous move of Eureka lifting. <laughs> but I loved it. It was so symbiotic that when you came out like underneath her wing, you two were just a really good duo. And here we go. We're loving the Volvo show that we're getting tonight in the front of you. Yes? <laughs> a tight moose watcher for you, Mom Michelle. Yes, I just moose really watcher. enjoyed you two tonight. Good job. Who came up with this bird brain idea? <laughs> Chakra, you blew me away. <laughs> intensity in your eye of fierceness and then you literally took flight <laughs> six inches off the ground flight if polly want a cracker chakra want a crown am i right uh. just the idea of taking flight being jailbirds and then finding a way to find freedom no matter what's holding you back it's so interesting that your name is chakra seven right as soon as i met her i felt a vibration within my body of positivity and of love and as I spoke with her, she talked a lot about her mother and how she cultivated her through her being young in the industry and kind of protected her and helped her set flight. And now having two children of her own, that was kind of something that we wanted to do here was mm. really support each other, how we do as friends and as family and chosen family. Um, and we break away from those cages, those stereotypes and those um, restrictions from the world. And I think you just did an amazing job. And I'm so honored to work with her. Yeah. This performance tonight was really beautiful. And not only was it visually beautiful, but the meaning behind it was really beautiful. Now, Chakra, I know that these meanings have been throughout your performances. Are you going to continue this sort of message-oriented performances? I'm starting to learn that the, there's possibility in telling a, a full story in drag performances. It's wherever your imagination is willing to take you. Yeah. It's just an incredible art form. As Eureka can attest, there's also the opportunity to tell a fool story here <laughs> at Drag Race. Are you coming for me, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> if you are, take me to the house and buy me dinner first, okay? <laughs> Give it up for Shaka! Yes! One's thirsty, and the other one's oh, yeah. absolutely parched. Take a look. <laughs> I genuinely was having a good time. There was a real <laughs> transformation for me internally. Thirsty Von Trap does not have to be glam and sexy all the time. You can add kooky, you can add plenty to make you, you know, a well-rounded queen, yeah? That's what I want. I am so, so excited Katya. to even have an opportunity Kuki. to stand on the main they stage and Kuki. perform with an all-star Bitch, it's Katya. Yes. Katya! Katya! <laughs> Favorite, but yeah. I feel like Katya is definitely gonna help me with this journey that I've been on. Remember, go to sizzling hot nasty sex queen. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty is perfect and polished and pretty. She's like the Nancy Kerrigan, and I'm gonna be the crowbar. Yes, <laughs> that kind of just like takes her out at the knee. I feel a sense of safety to act a fool and just be confident in myself. Just harness the power of Katya. Yeah. Get that pussy juice flowing. <laughs> I'm that might be good, because, you know, those days are always kind of I stiff, so... I sense of so, security knowing that yeah. she's going to be up there with me. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, I feel away. dumb that I don't know Let's who go. this is, the celebrity, because <laughs> you can see their face pretty clearly. <laughs> 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 this is gonna be the one where they're saying I'm not sure what the story was, but it was fun watching. <laughs> Man, they look great. <laughs> wow. Thirsty's doing it. I love that Katya is just basically the background music. Or, you know, the back singers. <laughs> Fabulous. Yeah. That's my favorite so far. <laughs> she matched up with energy was great. Good. Good job. Percy Von Trapp and Katya. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> so beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Gorgeous. Wow. It's so wonderful that you got paired with the hottest drag queen from Russia. She's 100% woman. <laughs> XX chromosome. Exactly. 
And it actually brought out what you needed to be brought out in your characterization. That's the level oh, that I expect from you every week, Thurston. You got there tonight. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, you had me with four hot guys on a couch, okay? <laughs> I would be intimidated on that stage if I were you, Thirsty. But if you were, you did not show it. I know you've been finding your groove and who you are as a drag queen. This is it. This is it. You are glamour with an edge. You have found your sweet spot. This is your lane. I think maybe you just found your calling. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> uh, this week, uh, I wanted to bring a little bit more of a narrative and a story to my performance. What was the story? Um, <laughs> you know, uh, two sexy, nasty housewives selling a very strong cream that makes boys take their clothes off. Nudity cream. <laughs> right. You know, I wasn't quite sure about the story, but it sure was fun to watch. <laughs> My milkshake from the I boys to the yard. Nastiness on stage really helped me get to that place, and so I'm really grateful to her. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and Katya, <laughs> being a seasoned professional. Yes, yes. And by seasoned professional, <laughs> I mean prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> what did you learn from Thirsty? That uh, children are not just, um, uh, you know, things that you eat <laughs> and. Um, <laughs> They also do stuff. Yes, they, you know, they can also entertain. Yes, yes, they do. And um, they are our future. Yes, they, they are. are the future. They really are. They, they really are the are. future, and we must guide them and lead the way. Yeah. <laughs> I just tried to show them all the beauty she possesses inside. Yes, yes of course. Yes. I love, love, love her. She should be scared. Oh, wow. <laughs> so talented, so amazing. I'm like, this is a dream come true for me. Listen, you okay. all are very entertaining. Give it up to Thirsty Ball Trap and Quattel. Woo! Fabulous. <laughs> Great pairing. It is made to be in drag. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, yeah. She's so good. So how's everyone feeling? No, this, this is, is an incredible experience, honestly. The argument's so great. Are you excited? Are you loving drag? I'm having a really good time. Yeah. I feel like it's such a trip, a mind trip to look in the mirror and look back and see a different person. As an actor, it's like totally like my drug. She's like, like she might be. <laughs> it's nice to come back to RuPaul's Drag Race and not be competing. This is on y'all. <laughs> I'll be loud! I've been able to win the first two weeks, but this time the judges had some notes. Bitch, you need to sissy that wall. I think this means <laughs> I need to focus on my feminine side. I found someone who's gonna help you sissy that walk, and I know they lean into their femininity, but also that super strong version of themselves. Let's do it. And that queen goes by Violet. the name of Morgan Mickey. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be Violet. It would be a good match. Go fix your hair. I am really, really excited to be working with Poppy Love. And now with this size, my waist does look that small. Yeah. Wow, that's into the system. I want to do something that you have not seen yet from Poppy over the top attitude in this performance. So oh, you're gonna kill this is it. my opportunity got a feeling. to really let that side of Poppy that everyone's been looking for to finally shine on. Woohoo! I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whoever came up with this idea. This is ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Yeah, Poppy is looking so coy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was, was funny. Good. This was great. But I still think <laughs> Thirsty's was better. That was funny as shit. The fuck did I just watch? <laughs> yeah. A drag master. Yeah. <laughs> you can say and do whatever you want to do despite what society thought. And this, what you did tonight, is kind of like the perfect example and why I fell in love with the, the artistry of drag. <laughs>
tonight with your expressions and going overboard. Mm -hmm. Take it even further. Keep going for it. But tonight was a strong night. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You have adopted this ridiculousness that is drag. Yeah. <laughs> we've actually been pushing you towards. I mean, that level of ridiculousness where it's absurd that you that you're you're in the maternity ward talking to this other woman and you realize <laughs> that she is probably having your partner's babies. That, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> it just sounds ridiculous as I hear it. <laughs> <laughs> It was really, really great to work with, obviously, such a megastar as a king. I traveled the world internationally as a king. To turn that king into a queen, especially on a RuPaul stage, is, is magic in the making. Give it up for Bobby Love and Morgan McMichael! Uh, I don't know if it's going to be Bobby Oh, maybe Bobby Is that really sunshine? I really wanted this person to come and show you how they lean into their comedy and found their who could possibly be here. Please Got welcome, me. Got Me! Got Me! Time to crash the system. Great <laughs> skills and sickening style have inspired a whole uh, new generation of Drag Race fans. Oh, you got to see some Got of those me. costumes at DragCon. I am going to bring out that natural funny side that I know is inside Millie. I love that for me. I'm a mentor. <laughs> I love it for me. <laughs> Gottmik's advice is to be big, bold, really letting go and going there. You have the total vibe of like that comedic moment. And I feel like you should like play it up even harder. Everybody is bringing their A game, which makes me more determined. It's been wild to see the Gottmik's performance, so I'm excited. Get yeah. ready, because Millie's about, about that to take too. off. So. Well, I have no idea who this person is. Still. <laughs> this is an airplane. Like the thing that looks like that. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Where's got me? Where's got me? Yeah, there she is. I love... I love the interpretation of this song. <laughs> there you go. Hi, Molly. You get up? <laughs> yeah, that's it. I want to see more collaboration. Like, the last part was good. It looked like a, like a little bit separate performance. Turbulence there. You know, it's so rocky. I was scared. <laughs> <laughs> Turbulence. Yeah, you drop yeah. everything. And you know, I'm gonna give you the note, Billy. There are things you could have done to make it even draggier because Miss Perfectionist, your choreography is gonna be great. You look fantastic. Now you need to take it to a level of absurdity. Literally, it's something you think you'd never do. That's what I want you to do. So mm. amp it up. I'm guessing too. There's no such thing as too big in drag. And I'm a natural performer, that's what I do. So of course that's going to be innate in me. So really finding the, the fine tuning the things that define drag. You're absolutely perfect, everything you do. It's the absurdity. It's uh, letting the audience know that you're in on the joke. Right. That's it. <laughs> like the name does not lie to you. Every time you speak and smile, you light up the room. And I was watching you in the short amount of time we had together, just like, open up more and more and just get funnier with it and so i just can't wait to watch you camp it up every week for it her do it makeup is oh, bad. Give it up for yeah. <laughs> Tick, click back <laughs> yeah last week was awesome the the winner of the also i've been working on being sexy and that performance it was sexy a little bit of comedy sprinkled in there. Something clicked in my head. Oh, this is how it's supposed to feel. Is mm -hmm. do it. The queen that I decided to pair you with, I think she's going to push you a little bit. Because I know you can do I it. Hope I hope she's not going to scare you. Scared of her beauty. beauty. Performance whilst standing still. Oh, Mistress Violence! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh. Extra! A group on Drag Race. I'm a one-of-a-kind collectible. <laughs> There is the power in stillness. You don't have to be moving all the time, but there is an art to subtlety. And I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm definitely more of an up-tempo kind of gal. The thing is, there's no props, there's no dancers, so anything that goes wrong is going to show up. You didn't this is the toughest secret. You need to really own that moment. 
Because it's going to be Elegonzo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! This is talented. Like, I can't do tick for today. Don't have some of this Going into this performance, I have to really believe. But I'm excited to see that and own it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. She's with Violet. Feed off of Violet. Oh wow! Beautiful. Wow, Violet is so beautiful. So they're enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Violet looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. I still think it's thirsties. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's good. Chick LaFay and Violet Toshki. That was a great story line, yeah. The glamour, which was great. But you also got to do that. I'm funny. And, and you know, because you know this competition, I've been telling you, you don't have to rely on it because it's just going to be there. Because you are a funny performer. Mm. But let's not take away from the fact that you're sexy and also beautiful. So, <laughs> you were the dueling divas, who, frenemies, and you really sold the storyline. I got it every yes. single second. It didn't seem forced, it didn't seem over the top. It seemed like these divas would hate each other, but they would still sell it out. Yes. For people who don't know, when Mariah Carey and Whitney Houston performed this song on the MTV Awards, one of them ripped off a piece of their outfits. So this is taking it <laughs> to that next level. It had those ridiculous elements that we love so much, and you both performed it so well. I still have yet to master the two inch waist. Uh -huh. <laughs> We're working on that. Yes. She was telling me over and over, reassuring me that the confidence and the power of stillness, truly mm. a competent diva, you don't have to do all that. Mm -hmm. All that extra stuff. Yeah. I feel like I, my motherly instincts have kicked in. I have birthed such a gorgeous daughter. I mean, definitely a new member of the house of Trotsky. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who the father is? There was some father thing going on earlier. I think one of those guys. One of the dancers. Yeah. <laughs> What's the point in doing all of this, being here, if not to challenge myself and learn new things about myself? And I feel like this, to me, was the scariest thing possible. Was Why? to be able to just stand and walk and not have choreography. And it was the complete opposite of anything I've done so far. I was like, well, it could backfire. Uh -huh. But like, then let's go out swinging. <laughs> Give it up for yes. Yes. Who they're gonna get rid of? I don't have uh, a clue. Uh, so who's going home? Ah, girl. I don't feel like I'm gonna win, but I feel better than I did last week when I was allowed to. Judge on looks. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for it. <laughs> You guys been nice the whole time. Each other. No, I've been ruthless. No, no fights, nothing. No fights. No fights. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever's at the top, whoever's at the bottom, it was a great show, and it was turned out. So let's just. Great time, everybody. Let's do it. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see who's gonna be. Welcome back to RuPaul's Secret Story. Lena and Dragons. Bottom. Like, it's I don't know. It's time to decide who's this week's winner and which two queens will lip sync for their lives. <laughs> I love you because of makeup. And I love she did well. I'm glad that she much. One that's she, grown the uh, most, I think, is Thirsty. Tatia. That's what she needed the most. Loosen it up a little bit. You know, I wasn't quite sure about the story, but <laughs> this was fun to watch. Yeah, this was great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I like this kind of drag. Yeah. I give it to Poppy for this week. Okay, this is gonna be a tough night to judge. Yeah, I wish they did this from beginning. Literally, it's something 
you think you'd never do, that's what I want you to do. And that was some criticism, so that could be in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous elements that we love so much. Yeah. I did too. Make some decisions. I think now this in the bottom, I'm not even going to try and fire. guess. It's getting harder to I select somebody oh, really? for yeah, the bottom. It. It's about separating the A players from the A plus players. Mm. Uh -huh. Chick LeFay. Congratulations, you are the winner of this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Wow! Oh. We know, we know. It's okay, you know. Is there anything you'd like to say? I would like to thank Violet for putting up with me. Vice versa, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, <we're not. laughs> and I'd like to thank you for rewarding the risk that we took this week. Thank you. Oh yeah. She did and something Lisa. different. Wow. Young Nabalisa. Chakra 7. <gasps> Probably love. Oh. Bottom three. You are all safe. Wow. Safe. Oh. What? Am I just the... Oh, oh no. no. That's so surprising. Thirsty Von Trapp. Millie Von Sunshine. I'm sorry, my dears, but you are up for elimination. That is, oh, Am I wow. just dumb? Queen. Oh my Those god. Should have been both be safe. If the not, decision, I thought Thirsty would like be in thirsty. the top. I like Thirsty. Oh, so beautiful. But Millie is dancer life too. Life but let's see you. Me. Did not see that coming. Save yourself. Time to scoop. Get your lip sync. Your life. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> so, Mai's going to Thirsty, Millie is too manic, in my opinion. Oh my god. Oh my god! Thirsty's giving a controlled oh, beautiful. performance. Yeah! <laughs> Me burn! Yeah. Go Thirsty. Oh my god. Yeah! Wow. Thirsty staying, I think. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Good for her! Aww. Ladies, I've made my decision. Oh my god. Thirsty Vaughn Trap, Shantae, you stay. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god. Aww. Got me. Millie Vaughn Sunshine. You are and will always be Drag Race Royalty. Who is this? The time has come for you to reveal yourself. You can call me Millie Von Sunshine or you can call me Ganache Goetzi. <laughs> She's beautiful. I have no clue who that is. <laughs> Let's take a look. Amazing to <laughs> bring Millie to she life an athlete? and to learn who she is. Drag is really hard. Yeah, she really painted right. so good. This is but an art form. To hide, like, her uh, real, her real, I mean, real costume, like, transformation. It's easiest for me. I'm a perfectionist. I like things to go my way. Hmm. And when it didn't, it definitely. It got me, and it's something that I'm continuing to work on and will take into my normal life and not being afraid to really have fun letting go. That's so cute. <laughs> I think Millie had some of Jenna's insecurities that became her power, and that's really liberating. I really like the, the blue mask painting the most from her. Millie Van Sunshine. The performance is always good. I mean, I am so deeply honored to be on this show, competing against these incredibly talented people in front of a panel like you. Um, hey. I'm honored to, to celebrate the world of drag and the artistry that it truly is. So thank you. Great job, Dana. Jenna, thanks to Millie Von Sunshine, your charity, Planned Parenthood, will receive a donation of $5,000.
Next week, five queens return to compete for the crown. Until then, remember, if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love somebody else? Can I get an amen up in here? Yeah! Alright, now let the music play! Millie is a great dancer, performer, uh, but uh, as a like, drag performance, I guess we needed the extra. And also, like, I wanted to see more collaboration with Gutmik, like, last part, they did it together, but uh, it was like a separation compared to other uh, contestants. So, you know, I, I get it, and uh, the lip sync, and then, like, I, again, Thirsty showed uh, the extra part of the drag. Millie was actually dancing better, but uh, Thirsty got the slides and, you know, connecting with the audience. But I think that's why we chose Thirsty at the end. What did you think about episode Jimmy Chan? Hmm. Don't know why Thirsty Von Trap was in the bottom, but I'm glad Thirsty Von Trap stayed. That's all I have to say about it. Alright. Alright, everybody, what did you think about this episode? Please tell us. Comment below. And if you haven't, please like, subscribe, and come back for more episodes. Thank you for watching with us. We love you. Bye. Thank you. Jane. Bye. Bye. I'm glad Thirsty stayed. Bye. Mwah.